Linear App Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the Linear app. Linear is a really popular tool built for planning and building product. It can help you in streamlining issues, project, and building product roadmaps. So without wasting any time, let's get into Linear. Now to get started with using Linear, we're going to click on sign up on the top right. Once you click on sign up, you can choose to sign up with your email or Google. Select your preferred method of signing up and choose your Google account or fill in your email information to proceed with your Linear application. Now just like that, your Linear account will be created. On the left, you will see your control panel where you're going to have a menu. And in this menu, you're going to be able to see your workspace and your teams. And you also have a tryout section where you can link your GitHub, import issues from other platforms, as well as invite other people. Now, this is just one workspace. I can build multiple different workspaces on Linear to help me in accommodating for different projects or different teams. We can go on ahead and click on switch workspace and we will create our new workspace. Simply click on create or join a workspace. And once you do that, you can enter your workspace name. So for this, I want to build a workspace for my learning course like this. And then after that, I will just click on create course. You will see your workspace URL at the bottom as well. Now that our workspace has been built, you will see on the left, it will show you your teams. In that, you will see different team settings that can be optimized. Now within a workspace, you can actually build multiple different projects. So click on project on the left and then click on new project. Now for my product development, the first project I might have is to curate investors like this. And then I can add a short summary. You will also see the options for the project if it's in the backlog, if it's currently being planned, if it is in progress, completed or cancelled. So it is planned and there can be a potential lead that is supposed to manage or lead this particular project. Then we can add multiple different members. So whoever are the people that are supposed to gather up investors, I can add them as members. I can add a start date and a target date. And then I can also add a milestone. So my milestone is going to be 10K receiving 100K or let's say 10K in investor investments like this. And we can set a due date for that as well. Let's say I'm supposed to do that within two months like this. And then I can click on add milestone and I can build a secondary milestone as well. You can build multiple different milestones that can help your team in accomplishing goals quicker and feeling a sense of accomplishment whenever your team is able to reach a certain milestone or goal. You can add a description, a project brief or collect ideas in the description. Then click on create project over here and your first project will be created. On the left, you will see your option to view it differently. So you can create custom views where you can view different issues or project. If you click on views and then on the top, click on project, you will see two different sections. So you can click on create view. And once you do that, you will see I have issues and then I have projects and I can view all my projects or all my issues. Now, issues are going to be usually handled by different segregated teams. By default, the Linear app does create certain issues, issues to actually help you in uh, setting up your Linear application, but you can choose to delete these because you're not going to need them. So you can go into your teams and delete those. Now, next up, you will see a section called teams. Now, you have a standard team that is created whenever you create a new workspace. You can click on team settings and then you can have a key identifier for that team. This identifier is used in issue IDs. So a team that is supposed to build the learning course will have LEA. Let's say I build a marketing team and I can build a separate team for that and their issues or tasks will have the identifier for MAR. So they would know that what tasks are related to them. You can also do issue estimates, which are a great way for communicating the complexity of your issues and calculate whether a cycle has more room left. You can also set in priorities as well as create by email, and you can also change team visibilities. 
Now, on the left, you also have the option to add more people and build different workflows. So by default, your workflows are going to look like a backlog, unstarted, in progress, and completed. Now, below that, you have duplicate issue status that you can add as well as other automations. So auto close issues not updated in six months or 12 months. Let's say I don't want to do auto close. So I can disable this function. So even if my issues stay inactive for a long period of time, they are not going to be automatically closed. Below that, you also have a triage, which is a inbox for managing issues that are created by workspace members outside of Teams. This usually means that if you're working for a particular client or you're working for a guest member in your workspace and they create a issue, that means that you can prioritize your views and assign these immediately to ensure higher quality for your products. Then below that, you also have different labels that you can create and templates. Now in templates, you can click on create template and build a standard template for your issues, projects, and documents. These are going to help you in creating new ones every time that you are filling out your info. You don't have to fill out those default fields that are going to be standardized in your templates. Then you have cycles and cycles can help you set up different goals over a particular period of time. Set cycles are to be one to eight weeks long with optional cooldowns. This basically allows a really streamlined workflow and enables people to work in a really effective manner. You can click on enable cycles over here and then choose how long your cycle lasts. Usually your cycles are supposed to be around the same length as what your individual project milestones might be taking. So let's say for us, a cycle is going to be five weeks, so just over a month, and there is going to be a one week cooldown period. And just like that, the next cycle would start on this particular date. And you can number the upcoming cycles to create. Let's say I work on a two week cycle and we have a one week cooldown. And the cooldown does not mean that it is a vacation time. It just means that it is going to be a time where the pressure or due dates won't be set for that particular week. So I want to set up my next cycle for the 15th and I'll click on apply and I want to set four upcoming cycles. You can also auto add issues to current cycles so you can fit in more work in that particular cycle. Now once done, it's time to start creating issues, cycles, and projects. Now we have already created our first project on the left within our learning course team. Then we can go on ahead and go into issues. Now over here, just click on the top left icon and start adding your issues. You can pick out the team that you want and name the issue. Include your backlog or status. So let's say this is going to be in progress. This is high priority and you can add an assignee, add different tags and add this to a particular project as well. So this is going to be to achieve a milestone as well and you can add this to a cycle like this and once done you can also set a particular due date for this as well as add sub issues and just like that you're going to be able to manage your project and create amazing product launches using the linear application i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say